हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल जर्नी विथ विजय कुमार श्रीवास्तव टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द टॉपिक इंटेलेक्चुअल प्रॉपर्टी राइट्स इन एग्रीकल्चर इन दिस प्रेजेंटेशन वी विल कवर द टॉपिक्स रिलेटेड टू प्लांट प्रोटेक्शन वैरायटीज एंड फार्मर्स राइट्स प्लांट ब्रीडर्स राइट एंड अदर राइट्स रिलेटेड टू एग्रीकल्चर सो लेट्स प्रोसीड फर्स्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड वाट आर इंटेलेक्चुअली प्रॉपर्टी राइट्स intellectually property rights are the rights given to persons over the creations of their minds inventions literary and artistic works symbols names and images which are used in commerce they usually give the creator an exclusive right over the use of their creation for a certain period of time intellectually property rights can be broadly defined as legal rights established over creative or inventive ideas such legal rights generally allow right holders to exclude the unauthorized commercial use of their creations or inventions by third persons there are two broad categories of intellectually property rights first one is industrial property which is covering intellectually property rights such as patents trademarks geographical indications and industrial designs second one is copyright and related rights which is covering artistic and literary works performances broadcast and etc intellectually property rights that do not fit into this classical division are termed as sui generis rights which means one of its kind indian intellectually property rights related to agriculture is falling under sui generis rights and these rights include covering layout designs of semiconductor chips and plant breeders rights in agriculture now to study intellectual property intellectual property is an idea a design an invention which can ultimately give rise to a useful product or application for the development of such intellectual property there are certain criteria which requires like intellectual inputs innovativeness considerable monetary and other resources therefore the inventor would like to ensure a fair reward for his inventions and innovative approaches there are major problems related to intellectual properties because they can be copied or imitated or reproduced which will minimize the return to the original inventor the right on an invention to derive economic benefits for his invention related to intellectual property is called as intellectual property rights ipr the intellectual property rights how very is recognized by the government and they are taking the suitable action for the protection of the new inventions now the protection of intellectual property rights the protection of intellectual property rights may take several forms depending on the type of intellectual property and the type of protection sought each form of protection has its own advantages and disadvantages there are various type of intellectual property in india which can be described as copyrights patents trade secrets designs geographical indications plant varieties superconductor chips and integrated circuits traditional knowledge biological diversity trademarks etc now we will go through need of intellectual property rights and objectives is the need of intellectual property rights is concerned the progress and well being of humanity rest on its capacity to create and invent new works in the areas of technology and culture so there here is need of intellectual property rights to protect the new inventions and it can be described in different ways like intellectual property rights encourages innovation the legal protection of new creations encourages the commitment of additional resources for further innovation second need is for economic growth the promotion and protection of intellectual property as per economic growth creates new jobs and industries and enhances the quality of life and enjoyment of life third need is the rights of creators 
इंटेलेक्चुअल प्रॉपर्टी राइट इज रिक्वायर्ड टू सेफ गार्ड क्रिएटर्स एंड अदर प्रोड्यूसर्स ऑफ देयर इंटेलेक्चुअल कॉमोडिटी गुड्स एंड सर्विसेज बाय ग्रेंटिंग देम सर्टेन टाइम लिमिट्स राइट्स टू कंट्रोल द यूज मेड ऑफ द मैन्युफैक्चर्ड गुड्स इंटेलेक्चुअल प्रॉपर्टी राइट्स प्रमोट्स इनोवेशन एंड क्रिएटिविटी एंड इंश्योर्स ईज ऑफ डूइंग बिजनेस intellectual property rights in other way facilitates the transfer of technology in the form of foreign direct investment joint ventures and licensing now to understand the objectives of intellectual property rights first one is intellectual property rights awareness outreach and promotion to create public awareness about the economic social and cultural benefits of intellectual property rights among the sanction of the society second object second objective is generation of intellectual property rights to stimulate the generation of iprs third is legal and legislative framework to have a strong and effective intellectually property laws rights law which balance the interest of owners and larger public interest third objective is administration and management which is to modernize and strengthen service oriented intellectually property rights administration next objective is commercialization of intellectually property rights to get value for iprs through commercialization other objective is enforcement and adjudication to strengthen the enforcement and adjudicatory mechanism for competing intellectual property rights infringements other objective is human capital development to strengthen and expand human resources institutions and capacities for teaching training research and skill building in intellectual property rights now to study the intellectual property rights in agriculture In India there is protection of plant varieties and farmers rights act 2001 age intellectual property rights in agriculture is concerned the question of plant varieties protection has attained worldwide focus in view of the agreement on trade related intellectual property rights which is known as trip which is a part of the general agreement on tariff and trade gate that established the world trade organization wto in 1995 and india is the signatory to world trade organization agreement on trips trade related intellectually property rights india made provisions under article 27.3b of said agreement relating to protection of plant varieties with the objective of providing an effecting system of protection of plant varieties teach the rights of farmers and plant breeders and to increase the development of new varieties of plants in pursuance of india's commitment under article 27.3b of the trips agreement india has enacted a legislation on protect plant varieties in august 2001 adopting sui generis generis system for the intellectual property rights after wide consultation of planners experts policy makers farmers organization public and private institutions the legislation is called protection of plant varieties and farmers right ppb and fr act 2001 the indian legislation while sharing similarities with international union for protection of new varieties of plant upov 19 additional provisions have been included to protect the interest of public sector breeding institutions and farmers the legislation recognizes the contribution of both commercial plant breeders and farmers in plant breeding activity and also provides to implement trips in a way a that supports the specific socio economic interest of all the various producers groups in india private sector seed companies public corporations and research institutions as well as resource constrained farmers as intellectual property rights in agriculture is concerned 
different forms of protection of new plant varieties have been existing in the developed countries through the system of plant breeders rights pbrs in order to coordinate inter country implementation of plant breeders right international union for the protection of new varieties of plants upov was established by international convention for protection of new varieties of plants which was signed in paris in 1961 the purpose of the convention is to ensure that the member states of the union acknowledge the achievements of breeder of new plant varieties by making available to him exclusive marketing rights on the basis of a set of uniform and clearly defined principles is the existing upov models of plant variety protection were not suitable for our requirement in india the government of india enacted our own legislation on the protection of plant varieties and farmers right act ppb and nfr act in 2001 which is a unique model in the world as it provides equal rights to farmers along with breeders for the purpose of implementation of this act central government of india established plant protection varieties and farmers right authority here to study the implementation of protection of plant varieties and farmers right act 2001 the protection of plant varieties and farmers right act 2001 has come into force on 30th october 2001 which provides the registration of new varieties of plant if it conforms to the criteria of distinctness uniformity and stability thus characters the rules under the act were notified on 12 september 2003 the protection of plant varieties and farmers right authority was established by the government of india on 11th november 2005 The protection of plant varieties and farmers right regulations 2006 were notified on 7th December 2006 containing duties and jurisdictions of registrar registration of plant varieties and essentially derived varieties quantity of seed material to be deposited in the national gin bank of the authority limitation and conditions for authorization and technical questionnaire the authority initiated the process of registration of plant varieties of notified crop species since 21st may 2007 objectives of protection of plant varieties and farmers right act 2001 the first objective was to establish an effective system for the protection of plant varieties the rights of farmers and plant breeders and to encourage the development of new varieties of plants second objective was to recognize and protect the rights of farmers in respect of their contributions made at any time of conserving improving and making available plant genetic resources for the development of new plant varieties third objective was to accelerate agriculture development in the country protect plant breeders right stimulate investment for research and development both in public and private sector for the development of new plant varieties fourth objective was to facilitate the growth of seed industry in the country which will ensure the availability of high quality seeds and planting material to the farmers here to study the main functions of the protection of plant varieties and farmers right act 2001 first function was registration of new plant varieties essentially derived varieties extant varieties following the principles of distinctness uniformity and stability second function was to promote encouragement to the development of new varieties of plants and protect the rights of farmers and the breeders third function was indexing of varieties registered under this act fourth objective was documentation indexing and cataloging of farmers varieties 
Fifth function was ensuring the availability of seeds of the registered varieties under the provisions of the compulsory licensing. Sixth function was recognizing and rewarding farmers, community of farmers, particularly tribal and rural community engaged in conservation, improvement and preservation of plant genetic resources of economic plants and their wild relatives, particularly in areas identified as agrobiodiversity hotspots. Seventh function was ensuring the maintenance of the National Register of Plant Varieties and update of database of all plant varieties. Eighth function was maintenance of National Gene Bank. And ninth function was developing dress character, which is based on distinctness, uniformity, and stability, test criteria, and formulation of general specific and special test guidelines for plant species. The rights under the protection of plant varieties and farmers right 2001 act. The three streams were focused like breeders right, researchers right and farmers right about which we will discuss in broad. As breeders right is concerned, breeders will have exclusive rights to produce sell, market, distribute, import, or export the protected variety. Breeder can appoint agent or license and may exercise for civil remedy in case of infringement of rights. In case of researcher's right, researcher can use any of the registered variety under the act for conducting experiment or research. This includes the use of a variety is an initial source of variety for the purpose of developing another variety, but repeated use needs prior permission of the registered breeder. Now farmer's right. A farmer who has evolved or developed a new variety is entitled for registration and protection in like manner as a breeder of a variety. Means the farmer has same power like breeder if he has developed a new variety. Farmer's variety can also be registered as an extent variety. A farmer can save, use, sow, re-sow, exchange, share or sell his farm produce including seed of a variety protected under the Protection of Plant Variety and Farmers Act 2001 in the same manner as he was entitled before the coming into force of this act provided farmers shall not be entitled to sell branded seed to a variety protected under the Protection of Plant Variety and Farmers Act 2001. Farmers are eligible for recognition and rewards for the conservation of plant genetic resources of the land races and wild relative of economic plants. There is also a provision for compensation to the farmers for non-performance of variety under section 39.2 of the Act 2001 and farmers shall not be liable to pay any fee in any proceeding before the authority or registrar or the tribunal or the high court under the Act. Now protection of public interest. The protection of plant varieties legislation includes public interest clauses like exclusion of certain varieties from protection and grant of compulsory licensing. To secure public interest, certain varieties may not be registered if it is felt that prevention of commercial exploitation of such variety is necessary to protect order or public morality or human, animal and plant life and health or to avoid serious prejudice to the environment. The Act also provides for the granting of compulsory license to a party other than the holder of the breeder certificate if it is shown that the reasonable requirement for seeds have not been satisfied or that the seed of the variety is not available to the public at a reasonable price. The breeder is entitled to file an opposition but should the charge be valid? The breeder may be ordered by the authority to grant a compulsory license 
under certain terms and conditions including the payment of a reasonable license fee. Compulsory license however will not be awarded if the breeder can demonstrate reasonable grounds for his inability to produce the seed. In protection of plant varieties and farmers right there is also a provision for protection against bad or spurious seed. In providing a liability clause in the section on farmer's right, the farmer in principle is protected against the supply of spurious seed or poor quality seed leading to crop failures. But at present, there is too much left to the discretion of the plant variety authority which will fix the compensation. This could lead to arbitrary decisions and should be amended. Now to study intellectually property rights relevant to agriculture. Several of the intellectual property rights are relevant to the agriculture sector in that they can be used to protect goods or services produced in the agriculture sector. There are main forms of intellectually property property rights protection which can be defined as trade secrets, patents, plant bidder rights and copyrights. Intellectually property rights are important for policy making in agriculture and there are present two tools which are used to evaluate of intellectually property rights in agriculture and responses of public sector research to IPR developments. First one is econometric approach which is needed to analyze relationship of strengthened IPR with the agriculture development of TRIPS member countries and second web based survey, survey to measure attitudes and perspectives of public sector personnel on IPR and their implications. First IPR in agriculture is patents. Patents are probably the most important intellectually property right today for agriculture goods and services as they provide wherever these are available the strongest protection for patentable plants and animals and biotechnological processes for their production. Patents universally give the patentee the rights to prevent third parties from making, using or selling the patented product or process. Patents however have to be disclosed to the public through the patent documents. This enables researchers to develop further useful products or services. A patent is the right granted by a government to an inventor to exclude others from imitating, manufacturing, using or selling the invention in question for commercial use during the specified period. However, not all countries allow the patenting of plants and animals or even microorganisms or biotechnological processes. Biotechnology is the sector that holds the most potential for advances in agriculture to improve productivity. There are certain fixed criteria which are needed for patenting the produce and this criteria can be defined as novelty, inventiveness, industrial application and usefulness, patentability and disclosure. As novelty is concerned, the invention must be new and should not be, not be already known to public. Second is inventiveness. The invention should represent an innovation. Third is industrial application and usefulness. The patent must have an industrial application should be useful to the society or nation. As patent criteria is concerned, it must be patentable under the existing law and its current interpretation. The criteria at present varies from country to country and with time within the same country. The Indian Patent Act 1970 doesn't allow product patent in pharmaceuticals, food and agriculture. The key element is that substances used as food, medicine, drug and the entire class of materials formed by any chemical reaction do not qualify as patentable subject matter like product patents are not allowed in India. As a result, an antibiotic is not patentable in India while the process of its production is in contest. Both the product and the processes are 
patentable in Europe and USA. Now fifth criteria is disclosure. The inventor has to describe his invention in sufficient detail so that a person of normal skill is able to reproduce it. In case of biological entities already known, organisms may be simply named. But if they have been genetically modified, the nature and method of modification has to be described fully. A patent may be viewed as a contrast between the society and the inventor where in the inventor discloses his intention in return for the protection granted to him by the society to control the commercial aspects of his invention to the extent, extent that is not determined to the society. Now to study plant breeders right. These are the rights granted by the government to plant breeder or owner of a variety to exclude others from producing commercially the propagating material or that variety for a period of 15 to 20 years. To qualify for plant breeders right protection, a variety has to be novel, distinct from existing varieties, uniform and stable in its essential characteristic. A person holding plant breeders right title to a variety can authorize other organizations to produce and sell the propagating materials of that variety. As plant breeders right in India is concerned, India had evolved a sui generis system of plant breeders right, which means a system of their own. The essential features of UPOV 1978 means International Union for Protection of New Varieties of Plant Acts are being considered for adoption. Some important features of the Indian sui generis system can be defined as first one farmers right, second researchers right to use the material for research, third protection period of 15 years for annuals and 18 years for fruit trees, fourth is compulsory deposit of the material in national gene bank and fifth Establishment of national authority for the protection of breeders, farmers, and researchers use rights. Next form of intellectually property rights in agriculture is trade secret. When the individual or organization owning an intellectually property doesn't disclose the property to anyone and keeps it as a closely guarded secret to promote his business interest, it is called, called trade secrets. Trade secret may relate to formula, processes, or parented lines in hybrids. In biotechnology, trade secrets include cell lines, microorganisms, strains, etc. Next form is copyright. Certain intellectual properties are not patentable. They are protected by copyrights, like example books, audio, video cassettes, computer softwares. The copyrights is limited both in time and extent. Now to study the criteria for plant variety protection or registration. It is decided on the basis of novelty, distinctness, uniformity and stability criteria. As novelty is concerned, at the date of filling of the application for registration for protection, the propagating material or harvested material of such variety has not been sold or otherwise disposed of by or with the consent of its breeder or his successor for the exploitation of such material earlier than one year in India and in case of trees and vines earlier than six years or in other cases earlier than four years outside India. Second criteria is distinctness. As per Article 15.3b of protection of plant varieties and farmers right act states that the candidate variety must be distinguishable from any other variety at least by one essential characteristics whose existence is a matter of common knowledge at the time of filling of the application. Third is uniformity. According to the article 15.3c of protection of plant varieties and farmers right act, a variety is deemed uniform if subject to the variation that may be expected from the particular features of its propagation, it is sufficiently uniform in its relevant characteristics. 
to be considered uniform the variation shown by a variety must be as limited as possible to permit accurate description and assessment of distinctness and to ensure stability this requires a certain tolerance which will vary according to the reproductive system of the variety next criteria is stability according to the art 15.3d of protection of plant varieties and farmers right act the variety is said to be stable if its essential characteristics remain unchanged after repeated propagation or in case of the particular cycle of propagation at the end of the such cycle now registration of plant varieties a variety is eligible for registration under the act if it essentially fulfills the criteria of distinctness uniformity and stability thus characters the central government issues notification in official gadgets specifying the genera and species for the purpose of registration of varieties plant protection varieties and farmers right act authority has developed guidelines for the conduct of species specific distinctness uniformity and stability tests or a specific guidelines for individual crop species the time limit for registration of extant varieties is available on the official website of the authority now dust character testing centers authority has notified dust test centers for different crops with a mandate for maintaining multiplication of reference collection example varieties and generation of database for dust descriptions as per dust guidelines of respective crops the list of dust characteristics like distinctible uniformity stability test center is available on the official website of the authority here to study about national intellectual property right policy the national intellectual property right policy 2016 was adopted in may 2016 is a vision document to guide future development of intellectual property rights in the country and the its clarion call mot is creative india innovative india this policy encompasses and brings to a single platform all intellectually property rights taking into account all interlinkages and thus aims to create and exploit synergies between all forms of intellectually property concerned status and agencies it sets in place an institutional mechanism for implementation monitoring and review and it aims to incorporate and adapt global best practices to the indian scenario department of industrial policy and promotion ministry of commerce government of india has been appointed as the nodal department to coordinate guide and oversee the implementation and future development of intellectual property rights in india the sale for intellectually property right promotion and management set up under the aegis of department of industry policy and promotion is to be the single point of reference for implementation of the objectives of the national ipr policy india's intellectually property right regime is in compliance with the world trade organization agreement on trade related aspects of intellectual property rights trips so this presentation was all about intellectually property rights in agriculture hope this will be useful to all of you thank you very much i have given here my youtube channel details journey with vijay kumar shrivastava having request please visit the channel subscribe it and provide your kind and valuable feedback thank you